DRDO plans to develop a new 125mm smoothbore auto-loading main gun for the FMBT, succeeding the T-72 MBTs. The shift to smoothbore aligns with global trends, offering improved ammunition versatility and propellant efficiency. Auto-loaders enhance firing rates and crew safety, while potential laser-guided missile integration extends engagement range and target destruction capabilities. Recent DRDO tenders indicate substantial strides in the STAR missile program. Designed for supersonic speeds exceeding Mach 2.5, STAR enables surface warship training against incoming supersonic anti-ship missiles. Its liquid-fuel ramjet engine promises extended range and endurance. Specifications include a range of 55 to 175 kilometers, altitude from 0.1 to 10 kilometers, and speeds from Mach 1.8 to 2.5 for 50 to 200 seconds. The Indian Army awaits the delivery of AH-64 re Apache attack helicopters from the U.S., supplementing the existing fleet of 22 Apaches in the Indian Air Force. Plans to procure an additional 18 Apaches are underway. Meanwhile, the IAF prioritizes domestically produced light combat helicopters, with orders of 90 for the Army and 66 for the IAF, signaling a significant step in bolstering India's attack helicopter capabilities. India's AMCA will gain unprecedented situational awareness with the integration of a distributed aperture system, DOS. This cutting-edge technology provides a 360-degree view of the battle space, enhancing tracking, targeting, stealth detection, and pilot workload reduction. Spearheaded by DRDO, DOS showcases India's aerospace technology advancement, promising a more formidable AMCA in combat. India's Ministry of External Affairs has approved India Ports Global Limited IPGL, to oversee Sitway Ports operations, marking India's second overseas port venture after Chabahar Port in Iran. IPGL, a joint venture between JNPT and Deendale Port Trust, aims to enhance India's maritime presence and strengthen trade links with Southeast Asia through the Kaladin Project.